A question of character. Bart Simpson is a tactical mastermind, a proficient but impudent hero. Bart demands you to ingest his soiled underwear. Eat my shorts. A disgusting request. Spiked hair is of his head. Rebel is of his life. Anger is of his family time. Bart witnesses a sickening atrocity towards humans. Aliens of Conquer seek to pose as humans to inevitably enslave them. And Bart thinks it's cool. Bart has nerves of steel. Bart is a master athlete. He leaps like he's never leapt before. Bart must stop this evil acquisition of Earth because the regular humans do not care. Not my problem. Bart is alone in his uprising against the aliens. However, Bart is not alone. The family he detests spending time with help him throughout his quest. Some helping immensely. Others, not so much. Bart must keep objects away from the aliens, such as purple objects. The sickening aliens need purple objects. It powers their weapon-making machine. Bart will allow them to power nothing. Bart is a master vandal. He handles a spray can as Da Vinci strokes a mural. You are purple no more, Hydrant. And the same goes for you, Flower Pot. Bart has x-ray glasses. They provide instantaneous and real-time imaging, uncovering aliens camouflaged within the yellowish shell of human flesh. I see your truth and I will destroy you. The aliens flee from Bart's destructive body blow. Oh. However, this physical aggression will not stop the regular man. Instead, Bart will feel the pain. For protection, Bart wears a red t-shirt and blue edible shorts. The clothes, they do nothing withstanding one attack. Any more will leave Bart incapacitated, blinking until nothingness. Bart sprays the cops. Bart is a skateboarding virtuoso. His ollie is one of a master, able to leap over the average ragweeded scum. You see how you scum. Bart navigates within the most dangerous mall within the world, the Springfield Shopping Mall, facing death by cement suffocation, moonwalking sneakers, Bart will prevail and get all of the hats, which of course are needed to help the alien machine create its weapon. It is a very strange machine for a very strange mall with very strange sale percentages. Bart employs incredibly manipulative mind games. These games enrage the other party. That is when Bart will strike. You have been sprayed with truth. Bart will use rockets. They make him feel like a big man. Bart uses his incredible aim to win at terrible carnival games and to shoot the wicked with his slingshot. Bart withstands falling from immense heights, but Bart will indeed perish from immense heights. Krusty's Funhouse is a layer of death. Springfield's Museum of Natural History is a veritable death trap filled with live and dangerous animals. Bart dodges the museum laser shooting the vicious animals and protecting the exit signs, which of course will, whatever, you get it. And Bart's mortal enemy, Sideshow Bob, will face the ill-bred troublemakers, especially Lisa, but especially Bart. Bart steps on his oversized shoes to death. Finally, the aliens come up with a more competent substance for their weapon, nuclear rods, much better than exit signs. Bart fights within the waste and locates the rods, a task so easy that even a baby could do it. And a baby does do it, Maggie. But Bart is no baby. Bart is a big boy. It is Bart versus the Space Mutants for the NES. Now tell your parents to buy you Bart versus the Space Mutants or go to hell. Next episode. Be careful of the pits. They can be deadly.
Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your anchor like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into question. Return every Monday for more. A question, question. of oh, character. character.